Listen. To a man with a hammer, every problem looks like a nail. So this is what Abraham Maslow, you know, that guy who came up with the theory of the um, hierarchy of needs, right? Abraham Maslow, brilliant guy. That saying is so on point, especially when it comes to today's customer service pre-sales team that is doing reach out engagement online. So if you're a small business and you are chatting with your clients online, trying to close sales, trying to follow up with support, this is one of the biggest challenges I see for small businesses, right? So are you going through some of these frustrations? Are you guys having to do a lot of manual tasks repeatedly, all the boring things, all the low productivity, low and very high annoyance, very annoying work, right? Or are things, um, you know, chatting with, with your clients messy? Uh, are the information, the data scattered everywhere in different apps? You have to open Gmail, you have to open your me messenger, you have to open WhatsApp, and then... Often your team is sending in, uh, sending over the wrong info, and and there's like you know back and forth, back and forth with your clients often, right? Or are there many basic functions um, that your software or the tools that you're using uh, it can't be done? You know you've heard that other companies can do it, it can integrate with that, it can do this, it can do that, but because of the lack of features in the current tools that you're using, you feel that you're being left behind uh, by your competitors, right? And this is happening again and again and again. Every time I speak to a new client, they're having this main challenge. So today, what we're going to talk about is we're going to, we're going to talk about um, choosing the right tools, creating a dedicated customer service platform so that your team can compete with other customer service teams out there, all right? Stay tuned. Intro. Welcome back. Hi, my name is Kalev. I am the CEO and founder of Yes Hello. At Yes Hello, we help small businesses just like yours to streamline your online customer service pre-sales so that you can close more sales and create more revenues. So in this video, like I mentioned, we're going to talk about getting the right tools for the job of customer service for um, streamlining your WhatsApp, streamlining your pre-sales um, so that you guys can compete and uh, beat your competitors so that your clients love you, all right? So with the right tools, this is what you can do. You can now imagine your team can automate all the boring, repetitive tasks. So one of the biggest things that you guys can get if you have the right tools for the right job, for your customer service team, having the right tools so that they can do the integration with all the other uh, channels so that they can get a reminder so that uh, there is one team inbox where you can collaborate as a team. So with, with all those things, um, the biggest thing is to automate all the boring repetitive tasks so that your team can... Um, spend more time with your clients you know those people who really need your support uh, and not have to go and do data entry do some prep try to go and find uh, you know where where is all this data that one all takes a lot of time and it's a waste okay that's number one number two one of the biggest things that we want is we want to be organized and streamlined and have a, a process a streamlined process day to day. If you don't have the right tools, 
what's going to happen is your team is going to have to do their own processes. They have to come up with hacks and that is what we don't want. What we, what we want is we want to be streamlined. And another thing that we want is we want to be able to do modern tasks. So in every department now, um, you can have uh, an integrated data, integrated system where your process, where where your uh, delivery, your operations can connect with your customer service, which will connect with your sales, which connects with marketing and all the data can come into one place so that you as a leader can make a decision. And that's what we want. We want to be able to do that with data, with information, you have power to make decisions and that is what will push you to become a leader in your industry. So that's what we want. And let me share with you the, the mistakes, the main mistakes that a lot of uh, companies are making and why they don't have this so that you can overcome it, okay? The first mistake is having no tools. So what is happening is a lot of businesses uh, are just starting to get into online and trying to streamline uh, WhatsApp and uh, streamline Messenger and email. So they're using the basic software, for example, basic WhatsApp or basic email on Gmail. So that's basic. Everybody has it. So that is like, you know, if you have a shop, you say, OK, I'll just open a shop. You don't care where, you don't care what it looks like, you don't care how it functions, just a shop basic, right? And basic now is not enough if you want to compete. So having no tools, just having it be basic is the number one problem, right? People think that, oh, I, um, I need WhatsApp, so I just have, you know, one WhatsApp line. It's not enough. You need to be able to integrate it. You need to be able to uh, gather data and insights from it. Your team needs to be able to uh, automate a few things, create chatbots, a lot of things that other companies are already using, which most of you guys are not, right? So that's number one. Number two, for those who are choosing the tools, it is choosing the wrong tools. Um, wrong tools used based on maturity level the where your company is at, right? So, number one, maybe a lot of businesses are not quite certain which level of uh, maturity, which level of customer service maturity they are in. And uh, if you guys want to know about that, I'm going to link to our uh, worksheet where you can figure out in which level, right? Uh, it's in the it's in the section below. So there's another video on that specifically to to uh, go through like a certain checklist to find out where your company is. And based on that, there is a recommendation on what kind of software do you need and all the features, right? But whatever it is, the mistake is choosing the wrong tools for where you are. So if you are just starting out or you're just getting some momentum, you know, maybe like 100 sales a day or 100 uh, inquiries a day. So you're not at the the IBM level or you're not at the enterprise level yet, right? Nor are you just a beginner level. So you cannot just use the WhatsApp business phone, nor can you go and buy all the things, you know, like, like um, the enterprise software. So you, where are you in the middle? So um, that inside the worksheet, there's going to be some re recommendations and uh, choosing the wrong tools for where you are is the third biggest mistake, right? So you don't want that. So what I'm going to share with you is I'm going to share with you the five-step model on how to select your tools, okay? I'm going to share with you this um, our work workbook. So this is gearing the right tools workbook worksheet so that you can, um, so whatever I'm, I'm sharing with you today, you can find it here and uh, there's some links also to other resources so that you can find the perfect tool um, for your customer service team and you don't have to like search everywhere, okay? You can download this uh, in, there's going to be a link somewhere I'm going to share with you guys. So let me share it with you, okay? So the, here are the five steps to gearing up your tools and how to select the right tools for you. So number one is you want to identify your needs, okay? 
uh, in identifying your needs we have a checklist so that you can follow easily number one you want to define your goals and mission statement for customer service uh, we, we went through this also in a few other trainings but you need to have what is the goal for your team right for your customer service team not just for your entire company but specifically for your customer service team what is what is the end result so you want to define your goals and mission for that number two audit your current systems and examine your processes this is just basically making an observation and then drafting it out into a piece of paper or using any online software but put it on paper so that everybody can see what you are currently doing and then you want to assess your resources so in the workflow so step one something comes in and then step two somebody um, answers step three they route it to someone or whatever, right? Um, you can get our system in the collaboration uh, worksheet if you want. Uh, inside there, we have our collaborative WhatsApp, um, collaborative WhatsApp framework, which is a whole system. But in there, what I'm trying to say is, in each step, you can already tag what tools or what resources you guys need over there okay so these are three things um, you should do in step number one step two is to search for the right type of solution okay so finding the right type of solution um, same thing a few checklists what you want to do is understand what type of solution are available and which makes sense for you so we also have given you some recommendations list your required features what's what specs features or functionality do you require for example, team inbox, you would need a multi-channel, you would need um, many logins from different team members at the same time, uh, chatbot automation. So you want to list down what are some of those things so that's easier for you to find, right? Number three, list your nice to have features and prioritize them. So this is a challenge uh, because you sometimes want everything um, and a lot of softwares out there offer everything. But that's also a mistake. Getting a software that's all in, it might sound nice, but setup is hard. It is very expensive to maintain. It's difficult to, to, to first set up those automations is almost impossible, right? So sometimes you might need something just simple to get things done. So you want to list this properly. Next, determine your potential budget. Yes, um, since you've already seen many softwares, you know what kind of what they are charging uh, and after that get a list of possible options which will start your vendor search right so to speed this up you can download um, our worksheet on that number three evaluate your options so uh, here are another five checklists number one determine who will need the software right is it your just your customer service team or is it also together with your sales team or do you want to add the entire company which one right and then enlist the stakeholders your managers supervisors take part in the evaluation process it could it doesn't have to be long it, it could just take them like uh, hey let's do a 15 minute session this is what i have let's do uh, can hear what you guys think and then oh thank you for your input we, based on that we will choose right do not not necessarily you have to choose it right then then but but it's great to have input before you make the final decision shortlist the products then schedule a call for um you know to to speak more to that company and then do free trials um, or you know do a, a pilot project whatever it is after that evaluate the total cost of each solution once you've already used it then you can see some cost costing are there any hidden costs or everything's up front and fill out the vendor comparison scorecard yes so i'm going to give you guys the vendor comparison scorecard is right down here okay i'm going to show you guys how to do that it's very simple so you want to list the most important features then score each vendor based on how well they match up with your ideal feature and their overall capabilities okay so you got vendor a b and c and then you list it down you score them and then you have a total score very very um simple but this will help you guys to, to make an easier decision later on okay so an example would be here overall product experience um, the interface is very easy to learn uh, customers will find the system to be intuitive whatever it may be it doesn't have to be uh, exactly like this but 
uh, you you want to have this as a start, then it's uh, easier to justify why you're making decisions. All right. Number four, step number four in our five step uh, get team alignment is number four. So getting team alignment, first you want to select an internal champion to be the spokesperson of your tool. Uh, usually it's the head of the department because uh, they are the one who's trying to solve the problem that uh, the team is having every day. So they kind of know, they can, they have this the real pain every day, right? I, I suggest that person does it. Next, uh, present your case to the stakeholders. It's just a presentation. Prepare to handle the most likely objections, right? You can already know based on uh, your experience and how you know your your supervisors, what they're going to ask, right? So let's sit down. You and your team, um, just brainstorm how to answer that. And then secure buy-in from stakeholders. Stakeholders say, hey, it's a great idea. Let's proceed. Step five is to purchase and implement. Yes, use the credit card and swipe it and then um, uh, get it started. Review your plan for implementing the soft software. Here's a pro tip. Most uh, companies should have, most well, most good companies should have an implementation plan. So they should have an onboarding program or an accelerator to get you to be successful fast, right? So at Yes Hello, we also have our customer service accelerator. Any of our clients who join, uh, you have an option to go through the accelerator so that you don't have to guess. We already know what works. We already know what are the um, you know, eight, nine things for you guys to do to be successful within the first 30 days, right? So you want to review that plan or get that plan from the vendor themselves. So basically, that is it. Then in the gearing, the right tools, the next one is you want, uh, we have a questionnaire to help you evaluate what kind of service uh, you want to offer to your customers, right? So remember in the beginning, I asked you guys, hey, uh, you know, you want to define your goals and mission. I've also included here a quick questionnaire. It's a two-pager, right? Actually, we can make it into one page. Very simple, few questions. It will ask you uh, what kind of customer service um, experience you want to give to your clients. And this will help you clarify what type of uh, team you want to create. So basically, that's it, right? And um, I've also added a few other things down here. A customer service team inbox worksheet. This will show you how we use uh, the team inbox and how to set it up, right? So that's another worksheet and a training. Very, very fast, quick videos. Uh, another one are core values. This one is connected to so connected to your customer service assessment worksheet. You already know kind of what kind of um, customer service team you want to create. Then the next step would be to have um, to draft out your core values. Uh, that is a quick training there, and then. We have our selecting channels worksheet as well. If you are unsure which channels you want to start first right now. Okay. So that is the worksheet. A few other resources for you to, um, to download and to help you out with your customer service. So I'm just going to wrap it up for today. Okay. Remember to a man with a hammer, everything looks like a nail. And that's why your team is just keep keeping on doing the same thing again and again. They think that doing things manually is great. It's how it should be done. But, uh, you know, with the right tools, you can, well, practically fly, take over uh, and compete with your competitors, right? So uh, next thing to remember is wrong tools used based on the maturity level, level of your company. So you want to know what level of uh, maturity for your customer service team in your company. And based on that, you want to match the right tools. And finally, I shared with you the five steps to choosing the right tools. Uh, the five steps are identify your needs. Number two, search for the right type of solution. Number three, consider your options. Number four, get team alignment. And number five, purchase and implement your tool. All right. So I'm going to end it with a quick um, call to action. Right. So I would suggest you download the worksheet, today's worksheet with all the resources. Number two, do the exercises. And number three, choose the right tools based on the results you've created over there. Okay. So in the next video, we're going to talk about how to reply, how to reply to clients faster. So not just having the right tools is enough. You need to once have the right tools, 
to teach your team how to reply fast and that comes with uh, team motivation how to motivate them how to get them to be self motivated how to um, set up your team so that they will naturally reply faster to your clients okay so that's it from me today my name is Kalif i uh, thank you so much for being here remember to subscribe to this channel and uh, like the video if you found it valuable um and that's it i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye